time, well, Carnival, the, they're they're sending out emails, sending out emails, and it begs the question: Is, is this a problem? Uh, is this a problem? Could be for me. Uh, Cruise news and my views for September the 18th, 2022. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views coming to you, to your face, from the Excalibur Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am, uh, had a great time here. I'll tell you more about the trip because I know people like to get to the news first, uh, but I do have some interesting footage of me riding a motorized vehicle. Is it a motorcycle? Is it a tricycle? We'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about the cruise news story. Cruise news story number one, Carnival Cruise Line sending out emails to passengers on the Carnival Magic and the Carnival Legend alerting them that the internet that they have pre-purchased, well, it may not work very well. Now, the irony here is earlier in the week, they did send out an email to guests saying that their internet prices would be going up in the short term. Uh, they're going to be charging more for the internet. And, uh, well, that's that's funny, actually, because the, internet, the internet's not very good, and now they're going to charge more for it. In this particular email that they sent out to passengers, they're singling out just a few cruises. The first ship we could talk about is the ship that left yesterday on the 17th, the Carnival Magic. It left from New York City. It's doing a cruise up the East Coast into Canada. Uh, it will be impacted by challenging internet. When it returns back to New York, it is going to be doing a Bermuda sailing starting on the 24th. Uh, as of yet, that that cruise has not been tagged as one that may have internet problems. Carnival Legend also left yesterday on the 17th from Baltimore with an eight-night Eastern Caribbean cruise. Uh, those guests have been notified that there will be internet problems. And then again, that same ship on the 25th of September, those guests also being notified that they will have internet issues. There was an official statement released which says, due to challenges with some of the ship's satellites, there will be limited Wi-Fi access during your cruise. We will automatically refund all pre-purchased Wi-Fi packages as onboard credit to your sale and sign account. The social and value plans will still be available for purchase at the discounted pre-cruise price should you decide to purchase uh, on board on a daily basis. The premium plan will not be available. And so if you've already pre-purchased the premium plan, they're going to give you your money back, sort of. They're going to give it back to you in the form of an onboard credit. You can still purchase the lesser plans, which... Uh, yeah, I guess they're going to give you some internet. It's just not going to be very good. It's good that they're telling you this in advance. I would hate to get on the cruise ship and have a scenario where the internet didn't work the way that you expected and then you'd have to go to customer service and try to resolve it that way. I think this leads us into an interesting conversation. Certainly, I am an outlier. I, I am somebody that uses cruise ships a lot and that I work on cruise ships a lot and therefore the internet's important to me. I'm fully aware that that's not true for everybody. And so the question that I want to ask for the casual cruiser that's just going to cruise for a week, maybe once a year or twice a year, uh, does having bad internet, does that put a damper on your cruise experience or do you not care because you don't use the internet on a cruise? From everything I've followed since we went through the pandemic, I do sense there is a shift in the way that people are working now with more remote work coming into play. I do believe it's giving the people the freedom to work from more places and I do believe that more remote workers are choosing to work from cruise ships, uh, being able not only to do their job but also to enjoy the vacation lifestyle at the same time. Again, I know there's a big sentiment that that's not, you know, the way it should be done, but uh, the, the times they are changing, it's an opportunistic world. And me personally, I love the fact that I can work during the day on a cruise ship and have that cruise experience at night. Uh, and the internet facilitates that lifestyle. It would be a challenge for me. I'm going on close to that same itinerary in just a few days. I'm going to go from uh, Canada down to Boston. And so if it's something particularly with the satellites in that area, it could be challenging. I'm going to be on a Holland America ship. Or if it's just the satellite receivers on those two ships mentioned, uh, only time will tell. And so if you like, weigh in on that internet conversation. But the second conversation is, are you a one-issue cruiser? Is there one issue that if it didn't go the way that you want it to go, 
you would not cruise on that cruise ship or that cruise line. Uh, be it price, be it food, be it entertainment, be it internet, be it casino, be it. Uh, is there one? Is there one thing that would make you choose or not choose a cruise line? Are you a one issue cruiser? Uh, that would be an interesting conversation. We can have that in the comments below. I do want to tell you about some of the stuff my brother and I did in Las Vegas on Thursday, which included uh, becoming part of a biker gang which was amazing. Uh, but before I do that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe if you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising. Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. And I saw one of the cruising t-shirts in, in the flesh. Uh, my friend John from the Ship Show has one and they turned out okay. Uh, get your cruising t-shirt. I will leave a link down in the pinned comments. All right, let me tell you a little bit about what's been going on in Las Vegas. Let me quickly share some footage with you that will eventually be a longer video. Uh, my brother has been with me in Vegas. We just uh, put him in a taxi to go to the airport. He's heading back to Birmingham today. I'm flying back to Florida tomorrow. And uh, we, we had a whole day together where we did two pretty cool things. Uh, the first thing that we did is we rented uh, Rikers or Can-Am. They're, they're, they're sort of motorcycles, but there's two wheels on the front and one wheel on the back. And uh, you don't have to have a special license to drive those. You can drive those uh, with your driver's license. And we went out to Red Rock Canyon outside of Las uh, Vegas, and it was amazing. So uh, I'm, I'm going to give you a little footage of that. Uh, let me say we did wear helmets while we were riding, but when we were uh, doing the goofy slow-mo stuff around the observation area, we did not wear helmets. We weren't really riding at that point. And so I know I posted some pictures like, where's your helmet? Uh, on the road, we wore a helmet. So I wanted to show you that, but here's a little bit of that footage. That was amazing and then later on that night we went to the iconic comedy cellar it's not necessarily the iconic comedy cellar the iconic comedy cellar is in new york city but they built a replica of the iconic comedy cellar and they put it in the rio hotel and so we saw five funny comedians that night but i just want to give you a little taste of what we're doing in vegas of course uh, the main reason we came here was to hang out with the fine folks at the ship show youtube channel and the sharon at sea youtube channel We've been having a blast, but I just wanted to check in. It's been nice to have a few days off. There's a lot more cruise news to cover. Certainly when I get home, I will be doing that, uh, but just checking in, seeing how you guys are doing on a Sunday. Are you ready for another week? Are you doing well? Uh, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can show that you enjoyed it. You can do me a solid by hitting the like button. And unfortunately, if you do not hit the like button, well, I will, I'll be forced to punish you and your punishment will be this. Uh, you're, you're, you'll have zero internet on your next cruise, like zero, zilch, nada, none, zero point, that, no porridge for you. Uh, yeah, and if you're addicted to social media like I am, that would be horrible. Uh, but hit the like button and you can avoid that. Or if you're somebody who doesn't want the internet at all, I'll give you a dual punishment. If you don't, if you don't hit the like button, then you'll be forced to use the internet. So uh, either way, you got to hit the like button. This is Tony for La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.